Hey everybody, hey YouTube, Kaskari here. And we're gonna do a brief, quick, uh, one round of metal detecting, first thing we find. And that's it. So last time I was out, I found this here. A little bit closer. So what it, this ended up being is a condom tin from the 1930s. And then near it, I found this here. It was a 1920s cover from a Pond's Cold Cream. So we're gonna do one random find in a random area in my yard and then we're gonna call it good regardless of what it is. So um, the metal detector I'm using is a Nocta Macro Simplex Plus. Um, amazing machine with an incredibly low price point. Um, does the same that it would for uh, a lot of higher end metal detectors would for literally a fraction of the price. Um, I think I paid like $250 for mine when I bought it. All right, so we're loading up. And like I said, we're going to look for the first solid signal. And we're going to kind of go from there. So let's adjust this down a little bit. Let's kind of move on out to a completely random spot. So we got a 23 signal down low down there. Um, nothing consistent yet. So let's keep going until we find something. Oh, there we go. What's that? So we got something closer right around in here. So we're tracking about right in here. So we're gonna drop my knife down there and we're going to put this on quiet. All right, so now we're gonna grab the good old trusty pin pointer and our shovel. And we're gonna see what we find here. All right, so there's where the knife was. So let's kind of move that out of the way a little bit. Otherwise it's gonna pick up. So what we're listening for now is to kind of get an idea of where that hit was. So somewhere in this area, not that. Now I'm not picking it up. So let's look at that. And then come back here. Hmm. All right, let's bring the metal detector back in for a minute. So it's saying it's somewhere over in here. So let's grab this guy again, make sure he's working. Hmm. Let's do a dig in. Let's see if we can get something to pop up. Adjust this camera a little bit. See, I picked that up. Now, why isn't it? Oh, there we go. So, there we got sound. So, we know that we're getting closer to it. We're going to be listening for it to accelerate here. So, there we have it. It's old foil. That doesn't really make for a good one so let's <coughs> check for one more good spot let's see if we can get something else we're gonna put that all back go up our supplies oh. and let's go back to it see if we can find something else Well, that's our 
target that we just found. Let's pick that up too. Move on a little bit closer to where I found that tin. See what we'll find. We got something here. All right, let's try there. All right, let's just down a little bit. I just hit something. All right, so we're gonna bring this chunk of earth up. Hit something down there. All right, so let's grab our pin pointer. We'll get this clip hooked up. All right, so we know that we're getting a lot of deeper hits in this area. So we got something down there. Can hear it down deep. Let's go down a little bit more. All right, so it looks like this way is where we're gonna close in on it. Here we go. Anything else in there? Nope, it was just that. Oh wait. That just looks like an old piece of metal. Don't really think you can can really tell what it was. Um, looks like maybe some old siding or something. So we'll clean that up out of my yard. And I'll patch our hole up here. All right, so we didn't find anything interesting this time, but I want to do a video or two of these every week. So um, hopefully the next one will catch something awesome. All right, thank you all and have a great day.